Hey guys, I wanted to show you something that you might find helpful. Um, so I wanted to have supplemental solar and, uh, you know, in case we're parked in the shade to be able to add, you know, some panels off in the sun and just have a, a cord running over. But I didn't want to run this cord um, over. So this is your, you know, your standard um, solar cable and you'd have to run the red and the black together and then spool them up and especially when it's cold they're not so great to be able to spool up they're kind of rigid so i uh, ended up using just a standard um, power cord so i'll show you here's the inlet and it just has a male uh, receptacle in there so then you just take this any any power cord and plug it in okay and then I have that going down of course here's the other end of the power cord and then I bought an adapter here I think it was like six dollars at Home Depot um, and then I cut that and then I made a splice right here with some shrink tubing um, I soldered it together um, did it properly and then that goes to um, can't see so well here. Um, so this Dokio folding um, solar panel setup. So then that just has this standard connector here, and then that's where on the end of this I just cut clipped what was on there, and instead I just put um, you know spliced it over to just the, just the regular um, power cable. And I think I don't know if this is 14 or 12. Um, Anyway, I'll look that up. Uh, so then that just connects over there. So you get supplemental solar this way. Put it on the back of my truck in this case, or maybe front windshield, depending, or on the roof, whatever it is. And then it just connects in over here. And then I have um, 10 AWG. Um, so then on the inside here, it just has the, the black and the red, here it is, um, the 10 AWG, that then goes over. Uh, in my case, I have it going under and um, into the front, uh, or excuse me, to the battery bank. Um, and also, well, before it goes to the batteries, it, it goes through the charge controller. I have a Victron uh, solar charge controller that I have a separate one just for the supplemental panels. Um, and then I added another one of these ports, these inlets, uh, diagonally on the other side of the camper too so i can set some up over there as well so that's all hope you find it useful